Hello everyone. Good morning. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. We can hear you. Hi, Good morning. Dr. Hi, Shri. Hi, Farwa. Anjan. Okay. Any one question? So I have one question, uh, Anand. So are you going to send this all this recording after the taking is over every day, or how it will be? Yeah. Uh, let me show you. I think you can see my screen. Are you okay. able to see my screen? So we have one portal, visualpart uh -huh. dot checkable. Okay. So you can ask to the team. Okay. They will provide you the session. So here you can see all the recording available. Okay. Every day. Yes. Every day you can access the recording. Okay. Yeah. Here you can see. Okay. No, so I, by using I, I, click I, I, on I, I, start I, I, button, you can. By using a start button, you can go through the recording. Okay. I understand. So why I am asking so, question? Like, all the people. Uh, I can, I can go through the previous video before I start the new session. Uh, I just want <coughs> to you know understand the previous thing, right? For the for the So in our in our previous classes, we have not done anything yet. No, no, no. We I'm have about the later finished point, the demo. Later point of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That will be benefit in that case. Okay. So, if any questions, uh, so that I can go back and. Uh, <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Okay. Any other question? Anita, Pavan, Mohan, Venkat. Venkat, any question? Uh, Mohan, Pawan? Yeah, yes, uh, no question. Yesterday, uh... So yesterday you go through the demo session? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's start our training. So today I will explain you. Let me just show you how Dynamics AX looks and all. So make sure you must prepare your environment for your practice purpose okay as i already specified there are two ways you can install the system so once you have the uh, system ready i can you can ask me or you can ask visual part team they will help you to install the system okay Okay, so here is the Dynamics AX. Can you see this URL? Okay, so this is the URL provided by the uh, Microsoft. Okay. <coughs> here, so once you open this URL, this is the home page of Microsoft Dynamics Finance and Operation. Okay, now question is, what is the usage of this uh, particular uh, environment? So basically, it is a ERP solution. Here, what happens? We have all types of modules available. If you click here, you can see here all kind of modules available. Suppose you have an industry of manufacturing company. Okay. So for a manufacturing, we may require production manage, production control, product product information management. Product information management is is something like we are creating the items and all so here okay so we have some other module system administration time and attendance warehouse management <coughs> then we have a organization administration so we have many modules as per our requirement um, our client will use the module here you can see account payable account receivable Okay, basically in account receivable, we have the sales orders. In account payable, we have the purchase order. Okay, so these are the modules. These You don't need to learn these modules. What you need to do, I will show you what you need to do. Okay, here I'm just showing you the overview of this Dynamics AX. Here you can see DAT company. Okay, if I, if I click on this drop down, here you can see multiple companies. DEMF. FRRT, FRSI, 
so let's take an example i hope everyone knows about the reliance industry you can see my screen everyone can see my screen right bpas aftab yes. okay so you can see my screen right so here you can see all the companies are coming so what is a so let's take an example we have a group of companies so what happened uh, we have a reliance company okay it has multiple company like one company is for footwear second one is for like uh, clothing third one is for grocery items okay let's so we what we can say these are nothing these are companies okay in a reliance group we have multiple companies so what they did they want to manage can you mute someone is Uh, Shipra, can you mute? Yeah, sure. Thank. You. Okay. So here you can see we have multiple companies. So for a footwear, maybe we can create some company, FR. FR means Footwear Alliance. Then for clothing, we have CR. Okay. Then for grocery, we have GR. Now I have three companies. Now Reliance want to. uh implement some solution in our dynamic cx so what they need to do they have to create all these three company in our system now how they can create the companies so here we they need to go there is a setup under organization administration you can see legal entities okay legal entity is nothing it is a company okay here they can create multiple companies which company they want to create fr you can specify fr for which country or for which region you can specify like we want to create for india ind and then they need to click on okay okay now this is this is a perspective for a functional consultant or you can say this is a perspective for a client okay there is some error happen uh dts commit and begin without calling so it's a standard error so we will check this error later okay <clears throat> now you can see fr company we created one company as a fr okay for what purpose for reliance company it they created a new legal entity in our system <clears throat> okay now as per as a technical consultant this is the work for functional consultant now as a technical consultant they may they may have a requirement i want to add one extra field they will select country as well as they will select state so what is the real time requirement they want to uh, create a new field create a new field as state okay and then uh, once user click okay then automatically state value will be stored in the table state value should be stored in table now when they open the drop down state here you can see for a country we have a drop down so accordingly for a state also we have a drop down so this is our this is the requirement from client <clears throat> okay now as a technical consultant or as a senior technical consultant okay you must know how you can create a field at the form level how you can create a field at the table level how you can uh, manage or how you can provide this solution okay so what is the first step you need to do this one this requirement we will implement later okay first of all i need to explain you each uh, what are data types what are data enums so these are very important okay 
I'm just giving you this requirement. This requirement we will implement after three or four days. Okay. So what is the first step? I'm just providing you uh, as a technical consultant. You need to provide the solution also. Okay. So like what are the steps you are going to perform to achieve this requirement? Okay. So what is the first step? First step you will create. Create an EDT. Second step, you need to create field in table. Table, we will check what is the table name of this. So let's check if I want to see what is the table name of legal entity. You can right click form information. Click on form name. Here you can see. This is our form name. Form name is Om Legal uh, Entity. There's no voice on there, no audio. Can you, it's, a, it's for me or it's for everyone? Can can anybody hear? Yeah, I Am can I hear. Audible? We can hear more. Okay, Aftab, can you check? Maybe you can log in from your mobile. Okay, just check your uh, uh, system, what you are using, okay? Now here you can see what is a form name. Form name is Ohm Legal Entity. Okay. Now I want to check what is the table behind this form. Okay. So first step, open the Visual Studio. So let's open from the scratch level. So this is a real time requirement. Your client will ask you this kind of requirement. So they may ask you not only in this form, they may ask you in any of the form. In our system, we have thousands of forms available. Okay. So when you open the Visual Studio, it, it display like this. So initially, I will click like continue without code. Okay. There is something like we have not created any project. We have not created anything. Okay. Here you have to click on view application explorer. Okay. What is the usage of this application explorer? Application explorer, explorer is nothing. It is a AOT. AOT. Okay. AOT stand application object. Okay. So meaning is whatever object you are creating, maybe a table, maybe a, a enum, maybe EDT, whatever object you are creating. Let me show you. How many branches available? Mm -hmm. We have data types. Under data type, we have base enum. Then we have extended data type. Then we have a data model section. Under data model, you can see all the tables. So left hand side, whatever you, you are able to see, that is nothing. It is an object. In our dynamic CX, we called everything as an object. Okay. So all the object you can find out in AOT. AOT means application object view. So I can say it is a collection of object. Okay. <clears throat> Any question up to here? Okay. Now we have to find out Ohm legal entity. What is the form name? Ohm legal entity. So let's go to the branch. Here you can see all the forms you can see under user interface. Inside user interface, you can see there is a note called forms. Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please, please, please. Wait. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I will explain to you one by one. Okay. I'm just giving you oh, one example. Sorry. Okay. So okay. that is coming under architecture and everything. Okay. Now, yes, yes, yes. So just wait for some time. I'll teach you. Okay. Now you can see form name. What is the form name? Form name is Ohm Legal Entity. So that form you can find out here. Ohm Legal Entity. Okay, when you right click, right click 
view designer view designer means you will open the form you will check what are the tables available at this form now tables you can see under data source data source means all the tables or view will be available here so what is the table name table name is company info okay <coughs> so i am able to i am able to find out what is the table name what is the table name for this field it's company info dot company info uh, inside this go to table company info this is a standard table available here we have some field called a company name data area id data area okay company name we called here as a data area id so leave this now this one i just show you how you can find out from form to what is the table name okay let's start from our scratch level now here in our dynamics ax how is the architecture work so basically it is a three layered architecture okay one is sql server or you can say any database second then we have a user interface then we second one is aot AOT is something like this one I show you. Okay, AOT or AOS, Application Object Server. Then we have some database. Okay, we, in our Dynamics AX, we, it support only SQL Server. You can't use Oracle or any other database to implement Microsoft Dynamics AX. You can use only SQL Server. Okay, and this SQL Server already installed by the Microsoft. You don't need to install SQL Server. Okay, then let's open the SQL Server. SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, and when now important, some of the students, what they do, they suppose I want to create a table. Okay, what they do, they create table in SQL Server. Basically, we have to create table in D365 Visual Studio. Okay. After that, we need to perform synchronization. Then automatically table will be displayed in SQL Server. Okay. But what some of the students do, they create table in SQL Server. Now they want to see this table in Dynamics 365. Basically, reverse way is not possible. Okay. So something like this, we will create table in Visual Studio. Here we will create table. And once we do synchronization, we can see the table in SQL Server. Okay. Reverse way is not possible. Okay. By the way, on live so environment, you don't have all of the SQL Server access, right? Live live environment, you mean to say production, right? On the, on the production or cloud, you don't have always the SQL Server available data. <clears throat> correct, correct. So basically, it is locked by the Microsoft. You can't access SQL Server. But if you want to see the data, they are, so for data, they from the front end, they provide you one form as a SysTable browser. Suppose I have this link. Okay. If you want, suppose you, you have this environment is a uh, production environment and you want to access any of the table, what you can do? sys table browser because you can't access sql server so microsoft allow you to see the data sys table browser and you can enter which table you want to see table name equal to suppose i want to see that invent table invent table is a standard table and it consists all the item IDs from our system. Okay. Here you can see as of now in FR company, we have not created any of the item ID. That is why it is empty. Okay. So in this way, you can see the production data. Okay. Not from SQL server. 
okay and now in the sql server how many which which is the database we are using we are using axdb this is common for all system axdb is our database name axdb means this is related to ax second one is aos aos is nothing basically this is our third tier and aos aos is nothing it is a application object server if you want to open application object server you can uh, open iis setting right click run as a administrator okay here you can see aos if you expand this application pool this is our aos service so without this service you the front end and back end will not connect okay here sometimes we have some error so in that case what if you want to restart aos you can do in this way stop and start okay so third, second one in the second layer what i can say whatever the development all the code developments will be available in visual studio developments means what are the things we can create we can create forms we can create tables we can create classes classes will come under a uh, code and then we can create label we can create report we can create labels we can create services services i will explain you later because it is related to integration part okay then we have data types okay now first one is the user interface this is about second second layer then Excuse third me. one we have yes sorry anand uh, can you show me how you just access the aws yes so you can click start button just write down iis iis means internet information services it is a manager then you can right click run as a administrator okay once you click this here you can see there is a branch for this particular environment here you have to click application pool now once you click application pool you can see here multiple services available so you need to use aos aos service here you can see start and stop button available in this way you can access okay now so let's go to the third point okay user interface user interface meaning from the front end what are the things i can see okay so this is whatever uh, <clears throat> when user want to access anything that is something like user interface it is an interface where user can perform some actions like user can click on the menu item user can open the form user can click on the buttons at the form that is something like user interface now in the account receivable i want to open the sales order form click on account receivable a uh, little bit slow this system so you need to wait for one second alok could you tell me so how 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 did you get that uh, system tables so without going to checking in the ssql yeah so ms microsoft already created one form which is called okay. sys table browser okay this by browser. using this by using by using this form you can access any of the table from our sql server here you need to specify which table data you want to see and here you need to specify for which company you want to see the data so right now which company i am checking fr let's check any standard company 
So let's check what are the companies available in our dynamic CX. Uh, USMF, USPM available. So let's check how many items are available in USPM. USPM. Uh, in USPM also we don't have, we must have USMF. Okay, maybe uh, <clears throat> they did not create any item yet. Okay, it's there. Okay, if you see, we have a lot of data available. Here, this data is related to all the item master. Okay. Okay. Now, let's open the account payable. So, Anand, can't we use uh, uh, toad or something? Uh, like a client tool to connect to this server database uh, for for production uh, maybe lower environment or production whatever no what do you want to see uh, like for example you are using this user interface to connect to that particular company and the respective table and their data and the ui correct correct, correct. what i'm trying to say is i will open a toad and I'll connect to my SQL Server database for this uh, C -AG, C -AG database and just put it <coughs> aside. So whenever I wanted to refer the data, I can go to the toad and do it rather than, you know. But that, that, is, a, that is a, like client cannot open that tool. Uh, what, what you need to do, that is not common. That is applicable only for you. Otherwise, what happened? Microsoft has thousands of customers available. Thousands of customers, they need to provide the tool. Instead of providing a tool, they provide one URL. If you want to access the you, if you want to access any table data, you can just okay. log in, log into this URL, and then you can put this particular form name, and then you can access any of the table. In our system, we have five thousand tables, so they can access now any of the table data. But if by using your tool, what you, what each user need to do, they need to install your tool, and then only they can access. Yes. That's a one-time installation, yes. Yes. So so that installation now, but in this case, they don't need to install any of the software or any of the tool. Directly, they can access the data from the URL. Okay, this oh. is the benefit of our... Uh, so so basically, this is the benefit of our Dynamics 365 financing operation. Okay, now let, let me show you what is the difference between previous version and the newest version. So previously we have versions called 2009, 2012, R2, R3. So these are the previous versions. Now what is the latest version? Latest version is Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation, F and O. Okay. So previously in AX 2012, what they need to do? They need to install the software for each client. And what is the version of Dynamic 365 now? Uh, might be 34. Actually, they are releasing every month, so I need to check. 1035, 10.35. 10.35. Okay. So 10.35 so is they, the new one. How they, I don't know how they will release that uh, version, so like uh, module wise or uh, I mean, uh, entire FNO? So whenever whenever there is a new patch, patch is something like when they improve the system, not only particular area, not only a particular module. It depends on the Microsoft. If they have multiple, uh, I can say if they have multiple changes from multiple module, they create a separate patch and for that patch, they can give the version name called 35 or 34. So here you can see what is the latest version. Currently we are in 9.0. is the latest one. This is released in February 2023. Okay. <clears throat> 
so so basically you don't need to focus on the version so okay when they change anything uh, it is not affecting you a lot okay only some of the areas they are changing okay now in demo time they are asking so which version is going on now like okay so install software for each client or user previously what happened if they want to use ax first of all we we need to install the software for each user if you have 100 user then for 100 user machines we have to install the software but in dynamics 265 you don't need to no need to install software yes of the cloud correct i mean finance and operation means uh, cloud based architecture okay no there are so no need to no in case of on premises also you don't need to install the software you need to yeah. if you want to access user interface you need they will provide you one url by With the url your... you can access all the modules yes yeah, yeah. client installation is not correct okay. okay so there is no web uh, installation of the software directly you can access the whole system from the url so this is the biggest advantage of financial this latest version dynamics to show financial operation okay now in 2012 in 2012 what happened we have three data types available three databases available but in finance and operation here we have only one database which is called ax i just show you ax db previously we have we were having three database this may be a interview question okay Well, can you just tell me the name of these two databases? So, first one is AXDB. Model DB. Second one is Model DB. Model DB is something like uh, they will store uh, all object in our database, whatever the code available. And third one is Baseline. this may be a this is the interview question some of the interviewer will ask you what are, what are, what are the three database available in 2012 or 2009 okay but uh, now in finance and operation we have only one database called axdb okay and uh, as per technical wise what is the difference it support x++ language here also we have the x++ language any other difference anyone can tell me if you know it's visual studio okay here studio. we have here here we have morphex and here we use visual studio correct and another thing is we have some concept from the dot uh, framework that no dot net is totally different dot net uh, you already learned right so here this is not related to dot net in visual studio we are talking in x++ plus okay. plus okay so morphex what happen anyone know what is morphex nowadays we are doing development in visual studio and previously we were doing all the developments like if i want to create table i want to create form classes everything we were developing in morphex so morphex is nothing it is a environment to create object okay yeah, so these are the major differences between 2012 and uh, dynamics 365 finance and operation okay okay CUG now uh sorry cog concept also main difference from the ax12 to dynamics okay correct so i think you mentioned a very good point so previously what we need to do let, let me give you one example if there is a requirement is a very very 
how the thing yeah. is like yes here. suppose suppose you have a customer table in previously someone asked you to create one field as a field one can you mute someone is unmute okay uh so previously what happened uh, so if there is a requirement i want to create two fields in the customer table field 1 and field 2 so previously what we need to do in ax2012 directly go to the object how you will reach to the object open the uh, visual studio go to customer table you can right click and add the field that is something we called as a overlaying we will customize the object in terms of overlaying but now in dynamic 365 overlaying does not support overlaying not possible for standard object overlaying in the sense overlaying so i will correct or i will explain you once okay and okay. now we have to do everything in terms of extension so if i want to create these two fields how i can how i can create in terms of extension now i'll show you what is the difference between overlaying and extension so i need to open the customer table i want to add two field customer table okay you can see customer table available in which model application suite right hand side whatever the what you can you see there is a value available in the bracket application suite is it visible application suite you can see all the object available in the application suite only okay so application suite is nothing it is a standard model application suite is a standard model model means i will explain you later we will create models in some time now what you need to do previously in a suppose this is ax2012 environment what you need to do open designer how many fields you need to create two fields directly right right click click on the new field 1 and so you can see here i created field 1 field 1 and second one i'll create field 2 so what i did directly i go to the object name and i created very easily now i will save and this field automatically will be synchronized to the sql server so this is something like i am doing overlaying of the standard object okay but now it is not possible in dynamics 365 if you save this object system will say this object is logged you are unauthorized to modify this model this model only can be modified by the microsoft okay so if you if you want to modify this object you need to be selected in microsoft okay now question is how client will modify this object what they need to do they have to create a extension of the object right click you can see create extension in new project so this point i'll i'll cover in the in our next class okay how we can create extension of the object understood any question the same concept okay. for the event handler as well right uh one second so extension means whatever the concept whatever the new concept available like chain of command coc and event handler and uh, we have delegates everything will be available in the extension based development only so you can see let me open the syllabus so this everything related to the extension only here event handler delegates class basically it is a part of class extension 
ओके डेलीगेट इवेंट हैंडलर एंड चेन ऑफ कमांड एंड फॉर्म एक्सटेंशन मेन्यू आइटम एक्सटेंशन आई गो थ्रू वन बाई वन ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए एक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व एंड डायनेमिक्स थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव नाउ लेट्स गो टू ओके कैन एनी वन से वॉट आर द डेटा टाइप्स अवेलेबल इन अवर डायनेमिक्स ए एक्स और इन एनी ऑफ द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज then we have a uh, one more data type available which is called enum okay now in our dynamics ax whatever the data type name you told me these are nothing these are primitive data types i can say these are the base base data types for dynamics ax let's see how many data types available in dynamics ax you can see here list of data types these are the primitive data types okay so integer integer is okay character basically here we don't have character it will be managed by the string okay then we have a real real is important if you want to store decimal value then we have a date time okay boolean as such we don't have any data type available what we can do boolean we can handle in case of enum okay i will show you how we can handle boolean in enum okay then we have a container container is nothing it is an array okay you can assume it is like same like array okay so like in array we have one dimensional array we have two dimensional array we have three dimensional array so uh, so whatever dimensional array available that dimensional array we can store in the container then we have a guid now there is a there is a special data type called integer 64 integer 64 basically applicable for this is applicable only for rack id rack id means record id of the table okay record id of each record so we can say it's transaction yeah it is a transaction or it is a master i mean to say whenever you something are like the primary key anand primary key of the table correct okay okay so this one we will cover later when we come to the table part that time i will explain you how, what is the record id how we can okay now these are the primitive data types okay so i can say how many primitive data types available 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 primitive data types available okay any question up to here now what is the purpose of real uh, anand real if you want to store 10.4 okay it's something like money okay. if you want to decimal if you want to store so this is like a float value right i'm sorry this is like a float value right uh, i'm sorry i'm unable to hear you yeah float float value float value you can store in the real number with the current, decimal correct correct number with the decimal you can store in the real okay Whatever and then we have 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Now there is a special called enum. Enum meaning. So here you can see there is one more node available for enum. So where you can see data types under data types. Here you can see there are two types of node available base enum and extended data type. Okay. Both I will explain you one by one. Now base enum. Base enum basically applicable in case of Boolean. So in Boolean, how many values can have either true or false? So what I will do, I will create a enum, create an enum as a Boolean. I will provide two elements, meaning to say, let's open ABC. So ABC is nothing. ABC is uh, a particular enum name. Under ABC, I have four values: none, A, B, C. Okay. Now no yes ID. No yes. Okay. If you open no yes combo, you can see only two values available: no or yes. If you open no yes error. No yes and error. So whenever the values are fixed. So now question is what time we have to use this enum. Okay. Let's open one real time scenario. I have this customer form. So how I can open customer form all customers. Okay. Currently there is no data. So let's try to create one customer. Click on new. Okay, you can see type. So how many types available? There are two types available. There are two types of customer available. One is person. Second one is organization. So when you need a drop down with fixed value in that case we will create a enum okay let's check there is a another another drop down also in a customer group this is i can say customer group we may have uh, various customer groups available meaning to say it is not fixed in that case we have some master table so in this case we cannot implement enum uh, like can enum have more than two values or uh, is it limited? not not more than two values it can have any can any value no but values so as per your requirement the value will be fixed mm, okay okay any value you want to put any numbers of value but the value is to be fixed at once so uh, that level only you need to set a value so it will list of <clears> value you can so here you can see there is no customer group let's create customer group Customer group, it, it is having one uh, parent table for customer group. Okay. Now I'll select customer group. So currently there is no currency in the system. Let's create a currency. Okay, currency available. So here you can see we have hundred of currency available. In case of currency, we cannot create enum because currency, uh, it should be dy dynamic in nature. Okay, like uh, current today we have 50 currency. Tomorrow we may increase currency. So in that case, we will not create enum. In that case, we will create a separate table. So that I will uh, explain you how you can create a separate table and how you can open that this kind of drop down. Now I want to show you uh, enum value where we can use enum value. Okay, here you can see in this particular customer, there is a column called ABC code. Currently, what is the value of ABC code? It's none. <clears throat> I can access four types of code, either A, B, C, D. Okay, there is something like I have a fixed ABC code available. 
Now your requirement, your client is asking, I want to increase one more value as a D. How you can increase? Let's try to increase. This is a real time requirement. Okay. So previously what we need to do in our AX2012, open the enum, right click, new element. You can write down D. You can give some label. This is about property. Right click and go to properties. You can provide the label D. And then you can store, save the object. But now you can see not possible. You are unauthorized to model, to modify the model application platform because application platform model created by Microsoft. Now question is, if you want to see this model created by whom, how you can see, I will show you. You can see what is the model name, application platform. So let's go to application platform model. You can go through extension Dynamics 365 extension Dynamics 365 model management. You can see click on update model parameter here. Which model you need to check application platform application platform select application platform. Okay, when you click on application platform, you can see who is the model publisher. It is Microsoft Corporation. So if the model created by Microsoft, you can't modify this model. Okay, so what you need to do in this case, <clears throat> in this case, you have to create a extension of the base email. Okay. Any question up to here? So. <clears throat> To achieve this, what we need to do, we have to create a model. Hello? Yes, Anand, uh, we are connected. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So to achieve, so what we need to do, we have to create an extension of the base enum. So what we, what are the steps we need to perform? We have to create a new model because currently our system is new. We have not created anything. So what we need, we, we need to do, we have to create a new model. We'll create a new project. Okay. Then we will create an extension. Create extension of enum. Then we will add element as D. Add element as D in our ABC. So any question in these steps? So what is the um, hierarchy for the solution model project or project model and solution? How does it work? Like? Yes. Yes. Who will come now, first? Solution or... Correct. So now question is what we have to create. We should create project or we should create model. Okay. Correct. This is your question, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, whenever you are creating any, whenever you are developing any new solution. Okay. First of all, you need to create a model. Okay. First of all, you need to create a model. So basically model is nothing. It is a collection of object okay let's try to create a model extension dynamics 265 all the model related things you can find out here under model yeah. management so you can see under model management there are four menu items create model refresh model update model parameter i'll show explain you last one i'll explain you later okay so Initially, you understand create model, how to create a new model. You can give the model name, anything. So make the sure you must... Why model. do we need to create a model? That's a, that's to create a model means what? It will be empty, there is nothing. 
or it will be uh, there will be model will be called from microsoft this time no 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 this is a this is a independent model mm -hmm. okay. so whatever this you will create it you will be there okay. yes 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 so this is a model created by you so this is a independent <coughs> model this model having no interference with the microsoft okay so this model you will create okay so let's give some name vp underscore okay i'll give a publisher name also who, who is creating visual path layer concept i will explain you later uh, i'll explain you later what are layers layers we have many layers available so there is a specific purpose of the layer but in dynamics 5 we are not using layer layers we were using a lot in our previous versions okay now maybe in future ms will uh, remove the layer concept also from dynamics ax okay then you can give some description here visual path okay after this you need to click on next here you can see there are two types of packages available create a new package create a new package means it is totally independent okay select existing package basically uh, this option is coming now but in our further versions uh, this option will be removed here you can see this this option basically applicable already some model available developed by microsoft or anyone and if you want to uh over layer yes this concept if you want to over if you want to perform over layering so this one over layering of any of the model then you can choose this package but uh, nowadays you can see four more previously like around four years ago all the standard models was coming but nowadays only four models are coming okay but later like after maybe two or three years this these options will also be uh, not available okay so this one you don't need to focus a lot at this moment so what you can select create a new package create a new package means it's totally independent with the standard okay you are not going to perform any kind of overlaying for standard object you will create extension of a standard object okay now you need to click on next button here you can see all the models available select reference packages so what is the me meaning of this select references packages can anyone explain me anyone having any idea this these, these are the uh, like pro, even references to our standard uh, models so that we can use this model, uh, the standard model yes. objects in our model, in our customized model. Yes. So let's let's let me give you one example. Suppose I have one standard model, application suit. Okay. This model created by the Microsoft. Under this model, I have four object available. Cush table, invent table, invent once, and there is some other object, some class available, parse form letter. Okay, so this is I can say this is our standard model. Now you created a new model. I created a new model as a visual part underscore some twinning okay okay this is what is this this is our model now inside this model i will create a project project as a vp underscore my first project okay inside this project I want to access this customer table data. How I can access this customer table data? If in this model, my in references packages, application suit available, then only I can <coughs> access customer table. If it is not available in references packages, 
I cannot access customer table. Okay. So let's try to check once. Here you can see application suit is in a Hello. Anand, you are not audible. I think he is time out. Master. Anand, Anand, you are not audible. I think he is speaking continuously, but his voice is coming back to us. No, no. Your voice is not coming. We are not, you are not audible to us. Anand, we cannot hear you. It seems uh, the timeouts. No, no, no. It's light, sir. Light sensible. Oh, it's light sensible. <laughs> okay. No, Anand, we can't. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, 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 now. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Actually, suddenly internet got disconnected. So because of that. Okay. Okay, so I was explaining you about the model. So model we will consider tomorrow also because uh, today I just gave you the overview of the model. Model concept is very important in our uh, system. Okay, so just you can also try to create models. Okay, one thing as of now, I think you guys are not having any environment, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what is having? Yeah, so what i will do i'll provide you this lab environment so for temporary purpose you can use this lab yeah hello no we lose you again is facing internet issues <clears throat> connectivity Hello. We I'm are only connected. Uh, no, he's not connected, it seems. He's rejoining. Hello? Hello, so can you yeah, hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Okay. Yes, sir. Actually, some, some internet go again and again. It's uh, creating issue. Okay, yeah, so we are in for today. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So, so now let's bind up our today's class. So tomorrow I'll teach you the model concept and everything. Okay, we will uh, move on further. And tomorrow we will try to create EDT. So you can go through EDT also today. Uh, and tomorrow you can ask me questions if you have related to enum or uh, any kind of uh, question you have related to environment 
okay sure yeah okay so that's all for today so i will see you tomorrow yeah ben is the tools okay. only we are going to use it uh, for whole uh, complete training because the screen is very small it's very difficult to so you you can you can you can uh, uh, maximize it so <coughs> maximizing is not giving your your screen full so to have your full screen we need to i need to keep it on 30% only Can you check because uh, uh, no one complained this one. So just no, check right. the vision. No, right. Please write actually. This is Sorry? the same. No, Aftab, you just go to browser and then make it full view, maximum view, so that that would help you, I guess. View. Yeah. So or else, or else, you just check with the visual part team. They will help you how you can maximize your screen. Yeah, because I try to hide the participant. Then also, it's in the small three or four inch screen only. I can see. Yeah, yeah. So I think there is some issue in your uh, screen. Yeah, I'm um, looking nice. So what you can do, you can just check with the visual part team. They will help you how you can maximize your screen. Okay, then everything will be visual for you perfectly. Yeah, sure. Nice. Right. Okay. Okay. So okay, that's then, all for. Uh, Anand, I have one quick question. Uh, as you mentioned Sorry. that we have to go through that extended version. Uh, do you have any document which we wanted to go, or we have to browse the Microsoft site and know about it? Document, document related to hmm. select table, EDP material, uh, the material for study material kind of. Yeah, I will provide you study material. Don't worry about that. I have one oh, study okay. material. It consists each and everything how to create table, EDP. What is the usage of enum? What is the usage of each kind no, of? No, uh, no, 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 no. I think my question was. You just told that we have to go through EDP now, so that if we have any question tomorrow, we can talk about it. So yes. I thought you will provide something what we should go through, or we need to browse it in, in the internet and. Uh, you you so as of now you can as of now you can browse your okay. What are EDP in Dynamics AX? What is the usage of EDP? What time we need to use the EDP? Okay, mm -hmm. and later on I will provide you document also. So as of now, uh, so we will provide you documents later. As of now, you can just Google and you can browse it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so thank you, thank you everyone for all. Thank you.